Markets Mixed, Waiting for Direction. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. It is Wednesday, January the 13th, and this is a very early update, but uh, markets have opened, and I wanted to, to get this out. And, of course, today's update is brought to you by our friends at the CTG Group. For, for equities and commodities, there is no better as far as we're concerned. Now, we do have other brokers, but CTG Group does a great job at customer service. They are the only authorized letter of direction provider for our algorithms. and they have some great managed futures products to check them out. In the meantime, markets have been very mixed, which has been really the story of the week, up and down, and we're just kind of churning as we get ready to make the next big move. We've been up to new highs, and we're in this, you know, we're in a solid consolidation range. No reason to think, you know, that we're going anywhere big and anywhere soon. And logically, we would expect the next move to be higher and make more new highs. Now, there's the markets will never announce themselves, and at some point they could reverse. But for now, we still expect higher markets. And again, until the trend changes, we are long, we are long across the board, Dow, Russell, S&P, and NASDAQ. And the metals, they're very mixed as well. Now, they're consolidating, and they're looking to go the opposite direction, okay? At least gold and silver. We are still long platinum, but we are short gold. We are short silver. And we would expect those markets to break to the downside because, of course, that's where our positions sit, and our positions are based on the trend. So basically, you're watching trends and across, and, of course, crude oil, although lower now, was much higher, has fallen apart a little bit now, down about 50 cents. But overall. I mean, look at the move we've had. You always expect some sort of a pullback. There is no reason to believe that the markets will continue to go straight up. There has to be some, as they call it, backing and filling. Uh, the bonds and notes are having a little bit of a rally. See, and there you go. We are short bonds and notes, but they've come, they've come so far down. In fact, Monday night on my call, I said, no doubt that there's going to be one day this week they're going to have a huge rally. Today may be the day. Okay, Again, we don't get involved emotionally or during the day. Every trading decision we make for the long term is based on the closing prices. Net gas is a little bit lower. We're long. Copper is slightly higher. We're still long. Uh, the dollar is higher, and we are still short dollars, but they're getting close. We may see a change here at some point. But we continue to watch, and again, it comes to price action and what's happening in markets, of course. Now we're in the grain markets, and I just did RFD TV this, uh, this, RFD TV this morning in a roundtable discussion. And yesterday's rally was no surprise. I mean, we nailed it. And before it came out, we wrote and texted everybody saying they're going higher. Right? And you saw up limit. Well, you're seeing some very foul action today because after you have a limit up move and after you've already gone up, I mean, if you look at corn, 350 to 550, you're going to get some trace retracement. Soybeans, you know, 10 or 11 to 14. So the pullback here now, right now, actually, corn is higher at the moment. But I mean, before you get this, it may be lower. Uh, soybeans are flattish, but they've been up 14, down 10. And, and wheat is about flat, and it's been up 10, down 10. So you expect that action. We're looking for more opportunities to step in and buy as they would pull back to some support levels. OK, I'll give you some levels tomorrow. But in the meantime... This volatility is expected. You're not going to go straight up without ever having a pullback. And that's the thing that people can't seem to, you know, put their, their mind around. The market has to have a pullback. It is healthy. Okay. Meats, hogs are slightly higher. Meat, uh, cattle is both slightly lower. Now, we're still short feeders, long fats, and, and long hogs. We expect uh, the, the meats, the proteins, to break out the same way that the grains did. Okay. Now, you're, you're going to hear these stories. About feed costs, it doesn't matter. It'll be accounted for. So remember, things are not surprising markets, and you should always be prepared, not surprised. And the softs are up across the board. Now, we are long all with the exception of cocoa, but all five are, that we cover are up at the moment. And we'll see what happens. Again, you don't try to predict the markets. You let the markets tell you where they want to go, and you follow the path of least resistance. In the meantime, don't forget about our our, our our, our partners at Family Farms, you know, brand new partnership, but not brand new. It's, you know, it's actually old, but we have, we're, we're like newlyweds on the road. We can't get together because of this COVID stuff. But in the meantime, we both have the same goals. We want to help educate farmers, especially for situations like this. You know, there's no, there was no reason to get out yesterday 
okay, into these rallies. Okay, you know, before there was a reason to hold. But in the meantime, th- we want to make sure we get together and get out and educate. And that's with Family Farms, great partners. Uh, our other brokerage partner, and again, remember, I do have other brokerage accounts, but is Trade Your Brokerage. For equities and options, there is nobody better. Okay, a great customer service, $10 a month. Uh, we've got their API, so we get the ability to auto trade your account if you choose. Again, we don't ask anybody to do anything. We offer a service if you would like it. It is free and part of your subscription, as part of your membership if you want to use it. So it's a wonderful thing to do. And uh, again, they're also giving free options training. I did session one last Saturday. You can get the recording to that by emailing me at bub at bubbatrading.com. And session two is posted on the website. You can register for free. Okay, And it's complete training. I'm doing it. Okay, And, of course, our commodity report, which Andy Heck nailed these WASDE reports and nailed it all perfectly. The report is called Technomental. you got to check it out. If you want to check it out, it's at bubbatrading.com, Technomental. And, of course, don't forget about our high school program at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash bubbatrading. That's Patreon.com forward slash bubbatrading. Have a great trading day, everybody. Be careful. And, as always, just know your exit. Be patient. Look, pick your spots. And we will see you tomorrow.